Hey, Sonny, it's uh, Luke from Channel 9 here. Uh, welcome back to the Roosters, mate. Um, has much changed since you were last here? G'day, Luke. Um, yeah, a lot has. Uh, firstly, the um, setup they have there is unbelievable. So, uh, I think, but, you know, the um, just being able to walk, walk in here and, and see the vibe and the environment, there's, a, there's no secret to, um, you know, the reason why they have, have had so much success on and off the field. So, uh, it's great to be here and I'm, I'm really excited to get amongst it. You're 35, it's been quite a while since you played in the NRL. Do you get nervous about living up to your own expectations and also the expectations other people have of you? Well, I think just from a sportsman mentality, uh, you always feel pressure. And you know, I'd be lying if I said I was different. But I think uh, when you learn to accept that pressure and try and thrive in it, that's when you get good results. So um, definitely, like you touched on, I'm 35, I'm no spring chicken anymore. But, uh, and I was on holidays, uh, so, you know, coming back into the toughest rugby league competition in the world uh, is, is got its challenges in itself, but I'm here and, you know, being vulnerable and just putting myself out there, but, um, you know, what a organisation to come back and be a part of and, and try and, um, you know, do something special. Hey, Sonny, it's uh, Matt Carmichael here, mate. Good to see you. Um, welcome back. When do you reckon you'll be ready to play? Uh, well, you know, mentally, uh, mentally, I'd like to say I'm ready now, but physically, I know that I'm a bit underdone. So, um, you know, they've got some of the best in the world uh, staff here, and I know that they won't want to, you know, push me too hard, just in case injury-wise, you know, from that point of view. But in saying that, um, I'd like to think that once I'm up and going, I'm, I'm going, and uh, there'll be no setback. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, the, the Roosters, obviously had, the injuries have been a bit of a setback with the way they were playing. Did you, were you watching them early in the season when they were really, really clicking? There was a couple of those, those big wins, like, like the one against the Broncos, almost had an All Blacks feel to it where the, the connection between the players is, is just so, is so good. They're, they're so in tune. Do you feel like there's any sort of com comparison culturally as well with, the, with what you've been through with New Zealand and the Roosters? Yeah, it's a very... Um you know, high performance orientated environment here. And uh, it's de yeah, there's definitely similarities here between the Roosters and the All Blacks. So it's, um, you know, really exciting and, and almost an honor to come back here and see the changes, not the changes, but the growth that they've had in that, that area. When it comes to uh, them playing on the field, I think just, you know, in terms of injuries, of course, it's gonna upset the flow, uh, so to speak, from a team playing point of view. So, um, but you know, the boys are working hard at it. Uh, and I'm sure I've got confidence in the boys that have been playing. You know, even though they lost uh, in the weekend, the pleasing thing from, you know, in my humble opinion, was just the grit that the, that the lads showed. Um, you know, led by friendly, friend, Friendy out there, just the grit that they showed to, you know, not let it get to a blowout score. So, it's Christian Nicolucci from the Sydney Morning Herald. Just to go back to your return date, Robert keeps saying around 17 Canberra. Is that what you're working towards as well? Uh, ideally, ideally, um, but we just have to see how we go, you know? Time will tell, brother. Because you've got Freddie Fiddler, guys like Joey John saying, just your experience, it's so sorely needed right now. They'd be rushing you back next week. But look, you've already touched on it, just that'd be too soon. Yeah, well, like I said, I haven't even, I haven't run for three weeks. Um, I haven't played for six months. I'm um, coming off surgery. And, you know, mentally, I'll, I'm, you know, I'm just like most other sportsmen where I think I'd like to think that I could just go straight away. But uh, I'd like to, once I'm going, I'm going and there's no hiccups. So I think it's, we've just got to, you know, lay everything on the table and just see how I go out there. So uh, time will tell, brother. And the other thing you also touched on before, you're 35 years of age, you still look an absolute specimen. But are you expecting teams to almost target you and sort of try and test you out, given it's been such a, a long time between drinks? Yeah, no, uh, definitely. I think, um, you know, out on the field, I think I'll be targeted from a point of view because I'm, you know, haven't played for so long. So uh, it's just common sense, really. But at the same time, you know, I've been around for a long time and hopefully I can bank on a bit of that experience to help me out out there and maybe push the boys in to do some of my tackling if I do get a chance. Can you still put a shirt on? Oh, you want to run at me, Cass? 
I'm muting nah, these, these, to be honest, man, the thing that I've, I've been watching quite a bit of footy lately and, um, man, these young lads are just big boys, eh? Big and fit and strong and fast. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Sonny, you say um, th there's similarities there between the Roosters culture and the All Blacks. Can you just explain that a bit further? What are the similarities you say? Well, I think that just um, the way, you know, f for the players, it's at their fingertips to be the best uh, they can be, both physically, mentally, uh, as sportsmen. And uh, whether that's on the field or off it, uh, they've got everything at their fingertips. And it's just a credit to the organisation here, from Nick down to Trent, to, that have allowed that to, um, I guess, happen. But then also put that, I guess, um, growth mindset in the players to not just think, oh, you know, this is how it's done, been done for so long, so we'll just stick to this type of way of uh, thinking are all playing footy so um you know so for me when i see that I, I i don't think that you know there's it's not much of a secret to see them uh how, how successful they've been over the last couple of years so that's probably the biggest similarity that i've seen you, you've been to a lot of clubs mate like we could run what it feels like a, i don't know how many 20 odd but it, is there is that a unique thing in like talk about places like the roosters and the all bucks it, it's not something you've experienced at every place you've been i assume well, I think it just comes down to um, the people running the show. If you know, you you understand. Firstly, you got to have that connection with the players and understand what's best for them. Um, secondly, I believe you got to remove that ego, which holds a lot of people back in 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 terms of thinking that it's my way or the highway or this is the only way things can get done. Uh, and it's kind of like a coll collective process, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah. So that's pretty much my take on that. Sonny, Jim Callan and uh, Fox Sports News. Um, mate, thanks for speaking with us. Look, just in terms of where this sits as a challenge, look, we all know what you've managed to do in your career, but we keep saying at the age that you're at, to come back and be competitive in the NRL again, is it a stretch to say this is the one of the greatest challenges you've had in your career? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it's uh, just, if you've been a realist, then uh, you have to look at, you look at all of those things that you just touched on and um, makes you wonder. So, uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm just being a sportsman and giving it a crack, really. So we'll see how we go. Time will tell, brother. Do you allow for self doubt, or is it just not in the makeup? No, I think it's just part and parcel of being an athlete. You know, um, I think I touched on it before about thriving in those situations. So being able to walk towards it rather than, oh my gosh, this challenge it's a bit too tough or the mountains are a little bit too high to climb. Uh, instead of having that kind of mindset, it's all oh, well, um, you know, I'm going to be where my feet are, work my butt off today, win today, and then when tomorrow comes, we'll be as ready as we can be and let's go, you know. Just from the football you've been able to watch, Sonny, the last couple of weeks, has there been a particular club or a particular player that's really caught your eye? Oh, I, um, you know, the uh, besides the Roosters, um, obviously, I've I've been watching a bit of footy, but I really enjoy the way the Panthers boys play, just the way they express themselves. And, um, you know, I've got a young young nephew. I reached out to Kakao, uh, the back row for the Panthers. I reached, that's his favourite player. So he was kind enough to send me a message message to him back in New Zealand, young Malik and his Lenora boys. So they were pretty ch chuffed about that. So, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big f fan of, of the bro. Sonny, we saw yesterday you had some strapping on your right knee, I think it was. Um, is that okay? What, what's going on there? Yeah, it's just old age, mate. I've been uh, managing injuries for about 10 years now. And in regards to my knee, I had my first operation when I was 23, I think. So um, that's just one of those things. It's just a managed thing, and I've been doing it for 10 years. So it's, uh, it's no biggie. Another question for Sonny, guys? We'll have yeah, Sonny, just, just one last one, mate. On lockdown you had your coat four young kids in an apartment uh, it must be pretty nice to get out get the fresh air and go training with, with the boys no doubt yes yes it was uh um from one bubble to the other uh but i think for us me and my wife got a lovely wife she's she's a great mother um and she's got a lot of patience to raise five kids i call it i say it in our household but we spent three months in lockdown over in the uk so we we're kind of well equipped we just, as soon as we got in here, we tried to put, once we got over the jet lag, we tried to put in the structures we had in over there. Obviously we couldn't walk outside 
but um you know we just try to come up come up with things and keep them busy and tire them out so uh you know once they go to bed we have an hour or two just to connect and have a cup of tea and then get ready for the next day so uh, it wasn't too bad well, sorry can you just give us a quick snapshot uh you'll have your first field session today contact will that come in this week the following week how does it all sort of pan out yeah i'll find out soon actually so i'm going downstairs and we'll see what what the haps is but you guys were more important than that type of stuff so i had to get here just for you christian <laughs> yeah, thanks, Sonny.